GTA 6 trailer 2 details leak online promises jaw dropping upgrade. Now at first when I first saw this I thought ah it's probably not real and there's probably no inside information but a lot of the things that are said in this leak do make sense. It could either be a direct leak and some direct information or it could just be speculation on what we might be seeing in trailer 2. So without further ado let's get into it. But before we get into today's video I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers so if you could take a couple of seconds just to hit subscribe down below it would be massively appreciated. Thank you all for the support i've had so far it means a lot to me and i appreciate every single one of you thank you so on twitter the user gta 6 best leak shared our sources have some news gta 6 trailer 2 is finished polished and ready to go and is expected for release in summertime undisclosed intel prepared for a jaw-dropping upgrade in the graphics compared to the first trailer that redefined the gaming experience there is a highly anticipated new location shown and miss breathtaking visuals and hearing way more about jason the unexpected twist comes in the form of a hilarious cameo. This trailer is not only about jaw-dropping visuals, but also about delivering some unpredictable scenes and hilarious, more in-depth focus on social media. Get ready for an immersive ride like never before. So the first thing I want to say about this particular post, I think that they may have some information and they've put their information into ChatGPT to get a statement out of it. The main reason I say this is because it's saying there's an unexpected twist that comes in the form of a hilarious cameo. It's just a bit cliche to say that but also the mention of the words jaw dropping twice now there's usually a rule in journalism where you don't refer back to the same two phrase in the same paragraph it makes the whole idea seem repetitive and doesn't really sell it and also saying things like an immersive ride like never before is not usually the way we talk about trailers that's more the way that we talk about a release but i'm about to get onto some of the information which does sound more realistic the post shared some exciting details about GTA 6's trailer too. Here's everything it revealed about the unreported release footage of the next trailer of GTA 6. One, jaw-dropping upgrade in graphics. Well, we know from GTA 5 that the first trailer had all right graphics but trailer 2 was substantially better obviously it was further along in the development of the game engine and i think that's something we will expect for gta 6. rockstar always over deliver on their promises and if you look at gta 5 when it first came out versus trailer 1 and 2 the gameplay in the game was dramatically better than the gameplay in the trailer and when i say gameplay i don't just mean the actual gameplay itself i just mean the graphics and overall the aesthetics of the game now the next thing is new location now when it says new location what does that actually mean because I think new location is just a different part of the map. Maybe we'll see a bit more in depth on one of the other towns, maybe like Port Galhorn, or maybe we'll see a bit more information in regards to maybe the Everglades or one of the islands that surround Leonida. The next point, more about Jason. Well, it's pretty much well established now that the trailer 2 will probably be about Jason, as trailer 1 was more about Lucia. So this here probably hasn't come from the leak. This has probably more realistically come from people just knowing that's what it's going to be. It's very obvious that we've got the information about Lucia. We have an introduction to her. We just don't have one to Jason yet and it only makes sense that trailer 2 will be the introduction to Jason and the next thing is a hilarious cameo twist now this is something that I'm very interested in and obviously when trailer 2 does come out we can then look back at this if there's no cameos then this is completely false if there is a cameo then this is probably correct I think the cameo side of things is probably realistic in the sense that Rockstar have a completely unprecedented budget for this game not like anything we've ever seen before so they can get pretty much anyone in the world they want. This game supersedes movie expenditure or any other expenditure in any form of media entertainment. So yeah, I think that very likely the game will have cameos. Whether we get that in trailer 2 or not, that's still yet to be seen. The post also claimed that the second trailer is expected to be released in the summer. While the leaker didn't disclose the source of the information, how convenient, many things mentioned in their report have already been anticipated since the release of the official Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. Fans are advised to take the leak with a pinch of salt. Don't take it with a pinch of salt. Take it with a scoop of salt. Get a bucket and fill it with salt, as the developer hasn't shared any details about Trailer 2 yet. However, the trailer is expected to go live sometime this year, along with the announcement of an exact release date for GTA 6. So I, and this is just my opinion, and you guys have told me in the Discord, as well as in the comment section, you want to hear more of my thoughts rather than the news online. So my overall opinion of when we're going to see GTA 6 Trailer 2, initially I was thinking more towards between March to May this year, because you've got to remember that there's Trailer 1, 2, and 3, potentially even Trailer 4, 
but then we also have gameplay trailers we have short snippets and promo cycles for social media content um, that usually come into like the six month lead up to the game and the game is predicted to come out in potentially early 2025 so if we get a trailer 2 in the summer they're not leaving much space for other content to be released I'm more leaning towards like a March May this year sort of time for trailer 2 and I'm pretty adamant on that because trailer 3 would then probably come out at the end of summer trailer 4 or gameplay trailer will probably come out around about Christmas time this year which gives a nice three month lead up to the game actually finally coming out in maybe between April to May 2025. That's just my thoughts. Um, I think we're going to be seeing trailers a lot more frequently and a lot earlier. Another thing I want to point out here and a lot of people have ignored this entirely but you got to remember GTA 5 came out in 2013. The promo cycle for that was like 2011, 2012 and 2013. Social media wasn't a big thing back then. Like Facebook was probably the most popping platform. <laughs> that was it. Like there was nothing really going on in any other social media aspect. Social media did not play a big part of marketing for brands and businesses back then. It was a completely different time period. And I've had arguments with people about this in comment sections where people are like, oh, well, they would have done like a TikTok promo cycle. They would have done an Instagram promo cycle. None of these things were things back then. And even in 2018 for Red Dead Redemption 2, during like 2017 and 2018 on the promo cycles for that game, social media still was very important, but it was nowhere near as important as it is now. The platforms that Rockstar Games use have expanded and evolved dramatically since then. Back in 2018, the main way to share content on Instagram was photos. Like, reels weren't a thing. Reels didn't exist. People didn't use them. They weren't a feature of the platform. So, we have to look at about how marketing in general and promotional cycles for games have changed. And Instagram is probably the best place to look at it. TikTok isn't really going to be a main form of traffic for Rockstar Games because it's the least conversational platform and it's the least effective way to ever connect with an audience. Instagram is by far the best way to do it which is why I'm on Instagram. Go and follow it, it's down below. So the deciding factor of whether we can tell if this is a leak or not really comes down to probably the most important aspect would be whether the information about there being a cameo is truthful. And also, of course, if we receive a trailer earlier, then it's very likely that this is completely false. Another thing that it says in this leak is that the trailer's finished and ready to go. Being ready to go six months before it's supposedly going to be revealed is absolutely nuts. I really don't find that likely at all because, so for example, the last trailer was released nearly two months ago and if they've advanced the game engine that much, which they would have, like between now and the game coming out, the game engine will be constantly be being evolved. There'll be changes happening all the time. They wouldn't have a trailer ready to go now to release in six months time. The trailer will probably be ready three weeks to a month before it comes out, maybe even later. Maybe it'd be a bit more cool. How soon can we get this done? Okay, well, when it's done, let us know. We'll review it and then we'll get it out. That's the most likely path that they're going to take with this. I don't really subscribe to the whole, oh, it's been ready for six months, but they're holding it back. I think realistically, they already know exactly what they're going to show in trailer two. And they're probably in the process now of capturing that, editing it and making it ready for a somewhat public display in the next couple of months that's my opinion of course everyone has their own opinions i'm just basing this on the way that games developers have usually done their preparation and release cycles for games so yeah that's my overall thoughts thank you all so much for watching today's video and if you did enjoy today's video please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel i'm really trying to grow the channel now i want this to become a full-time thing so every single time you like comment subscribe or even watch a video helps massively you also you may notice at the end of my videos there's a little thank you to my channel members so if you become a member of the channel you'll be featured at the end of the video on the right hand side and listed as a channel member in every single video thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you all in the next one